Good news from Harmony OS next. The official version of DeepSick has fully integrated into Huawei's Xiaoyi. Hello everyone, this is Beer Long Ma eating beef noodles. Recently, Xiaoyi updated to version 1.2.10.340. Have you all updated? The DeepSick R1 intelligent agent has upgraded to the official version, which not only connects to online searches and the R1 deep thinking model, but also allows direct invocation of DeepSick through Xiaoyi. The user experience is much better. The beta version a few days ago needed to be opened separately in the Xiaoyi intelligent body before. DeepSick, which could not search online, could be used. Now, after waking up Xiaoyi through the small horizontal bar, you can ask some complex questions to analyze the box office of Neja 2 and predict the final box office, and output the monthly predicted box office discount chart to directly call DeepSick. You can clearly see that it has a distinctive thought process. Compared to the responses before the upgrade, which were all the same for the same questions, you should notice a significant difference, like a score of 1 to 5. Now, how would you rate the experience of Huawei's Xiaoyi? You can directly enter Xiaoyi, interact via voice, and even upload images and files for analysis by clicking the bottom right corner. For example, I can upload a photo now. Then click on the power description photo, and Xiaoyi will recognize it. This is the Huawei FreeArc Sports earphones that will be released in China in March. Of course it has been released abroad, and some basic parameters of the earphones will be given. How is it? Is it relatively new? I guess you may not know it yet. So Xiaoyi supports the DeepSeek R1 full bright model that is connected to the network search by default. After the upgrade, we can also see the switch for online search in the DeepSeek, in the intelligent body, but the DeepSeek in the intelligent body cannot send attachments such as pictures. I think Xiaoyi is more useful. And the English version is deployed on Huawei Cloud Ascend Cloud service, so it is smoother to use. You can see on the left that I have connected to the Huawei Xiaoyi of the DeepSick R1 model with the default online search turned on, and on the right is the DeepSick APP with the online search turned on. I asked the same question. Xiaoyi was able to answer the question normally and give the answer I wanted, while the DeepSick APP would show the common server busy situation and could not give an answer. Xiaoyi now integrates both Huawei's Pangu Large model and the DeepSick R1 model, and the experience is indeed very good. Even the Red Magic Next has another reason to be excited. My only request to Huawei now is, when will you launch the new version of DeepSick R1 for my tablet? That's all for this video. This is Bia Long Ma eating beef noodles, and I'll see you in the next video.